So let's have a look at creating a sort of classic chord stab instrument using modulation. I've got a sampled saw wave here at the note C2. Just a really long note, just so uh, if we do want to have a note held down for quite a long time, we can do. And this is all I need actually to create my instrument. I've already got a sampler here and I can simply just drag the audio file onto the sampler here. And uh, as we know, we've got chromatic or optimize and uh, I want to use uh, zone per note for this. So now that I've imported that because we've selected optimized, everything should be uh, tracking correctly. As always, it's a good idea just to double check this. I'm um, just grabbing up the tuner just to make sure that, for instance, when I'm playing a G, you've actually got a G. So it's good to check that just before we start to create the instrument, uh, but that's pretty much ready to go now. So in order to actually create our chord stab, the first thing I've got is a chord trigger here. Just from Logic, just to give us a nice chord to begin with. And uh, essentially the um, parameters that I'm going to need to change are firstly going to be to actually activate the low pass filter. And uh, I've got a little pattern here uh, just sort of recorded down in MIDI. Very short notes at the moment, um, but actually before we go to the filter, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the amp envelope and adjust the release. Just to get a bit of a tail going. And uh, I'm going to add a low pass filter with some resonance. and a little bit of drive as well, just to add some character. And uh, the source is going to be envelope number two. The target will remain here at filter one cutoff, and uh, this is the modulation amount here as we know. Currently don't hear anything because the envelope's parameters are set really short, but we'll basically be using just the decay to control the length of the stab or the pluck. The reason I've used the resonance here is because it kind of, uh, in a way, sort of uh, accentuates the modulation, makes it sound a bit kind of squelchy. We do also have uh, different types of low pass filter here and the fat mode will help to actually compensate for the loss of low end that we get when we turn up resonance. So that's quite interesting, uh, but I want to sort of expand on this and actually have velocity affect the amount of modulation, which we can do here by just selecting velocity in the via menu. Basically just means that uh, now, depending on the note held, we can set a, another sort of range of, of velocity modulation here. So uh, if the uh, note being played has got a low velocity, then it will only trigger a small amount of uh, the modulation and a higher velocity will trigger a high uh, modulation value. And in my MIDI pattern here, we've got, uh, as you can see, just a couple of different velocities, but uh, there's enough to create a sort of difference in the sound. So uh, that's the envelope affecting the filter cutoff. Personally, the sound is a bit sharp and punchy for me at the moment. So I'm going to the amp envelope and actually reducing, well, uh, really increasing the attack time so that it's a bit slower. So that's quite good. I'd also like to actually um, 
use a second filter here and these are set up in series so that the first uh, filter is, is obviously coming first that's a low pass and then I'd like to have some kind of high pass after it so that when I want to I can start off with a cutoff low here and actually sweep it around probably with a bit of resonance as well just to create some movement. Perhaps go for a sharper filter. So that's quite interesting. And uh, now that we've got this going, I've got a couple of effects here uh, which will add to the sound. We've just got some stereo delay and reverb. See what this sounds like with some drums here. So this uh, automation with the second filter could just be recorded here. So uh, it's quite a simple sound, uh, but it's a bit of a classic, the chord stab, and it's very easy to do here in the mod matrix. We hope that this video has given you a little bit of insight on what it's like to study here at Point Blank Music School. If you want to find out more, make sure you check out pointblankmusicschool.com.